In this video, we'll discuss architecture career opportunities and show art portfolio examples made by Ashcan art students who are accepted into the top architecture programs. In order to get into the top architecture programs in schools like Cornell University, Carnegie Mellon University, Syracuse, Cooper Union, RISD, Pratt, and Skyarc, you'll need an outstanding art portfolio to get in. And if you do get into one of these excellent bachelors in architecture programs, it will open the door of extraordinary career opportunities for you. One of which, of course, is to be an architect. An architect is a professional who is involved in the design and the overall look of houses, buildings, and other structures. An architect has many roles, such as designing, planning, and supervising the construction of buildings. They often work with an engineer to ensure that they are designing something that will be structurally sound or can stand up to environmental hazards. They must ensure that the final product is both attractive and functional. You could also be a landscape architect. A landscape architect creates aesthetically pleasing plant designs and grounds for a variety of residential and commercial properties. Their main job is to enhance the natural landscape or to create an artificial one. And by doing so, they'll beautify the property in question as well as improve its value. You could also become an architectural technologist. An architectural technologist, also known as a building technologist, provides technical building design services and is trained in architectural technology, building technical design, and construction. The training of an architectural technologist concentrates on the ever-increasingly complex technical aspects in a building project, but matters of aesthetic, space, light, and circulation are also involved with the technical design, leading the professional to assume decisions which are also non-technical. They can or may negotiate the construction project and manage the process from conception through completion. Most architectural technologists are employed in architectural and engineering firms or with municipal authorities, but many provide independent professional services directly to clients. You could be a project architect. A project architect, or a PA, is responsible for overseeing the architectural aspects of the development of a design, production of the plans, and specifications. The position generally involves coordinating the needs of clients and design and technical staff and outside consultants such as structural, civil, and mechanical engineers, as well as interior designers and landscape architects. You could become an architectural and engineering manager. An architectural and engineering manager oversees projects in architectural and engineering organizations. They create plans depending on a project's needs, assign staff to oversee the different parts of a project, and create a budget. Architectural and engineering managers also review the work of architects and engineers to make sure they follow the best practices. You could also be a drafter. Drafters transform architectural and engineering designs into technical drawings. They work in several fields including architectural drafting, civil drafting, mechanical drafting, and electrical drafting. Drafters use CAD software to transform sketches and instructions from architects and engineers into a technical document. They mark materials, dimensions, and manufacturing processes on the drawing. Drafters then work with architects and engineers to refine the finished product so builders can use it to create anything from a skyscraper to an electrical distribution system. You could become an urban and regional planner. Urban and regional planners create plans to expand cities, revitalize urban communities, and build public spaces. They work closely with local officials, developers, and their community to determine land use plans. Urban and regional planners also assess community needs through data and field investigations. As part of their responsibility, urban and regional planners review site plans, identify issues in plans, and approve proposals. You could be an architectural historian. Architectural historians can have one of several approaches and specialties. Typically, they work in an advisory service to owners and stewards about preserving historic fabric of a building. They may work in research trying to understand the building's methods and materials or the impact on the cultural landscape. Sometimes a building is much more about its urban landscape as it is about the individual building to place it into this historic context. They may attempt to map the evolution of a building in order to define or recreate its architectural history. This is especially true for buildings with a complex past. Finally, there are several educational options open to architectural historians, but many would prefer to work in practice, examining and researching a built heritage. 
When you enroll in Ashkin Arts Portfolio Prep Program with the goal of entering a top architecture program, you'll create 12 to 20 strong pieces using a variety of materials. Much of the work you make at Ashkin Art will focus on the design of architectural spaces and architectural model building. Creating this work will show admissions counselors your interest in this multifaceted profession. You'll be able to submit an art portfolio that shows them a broad range of excellent technical and creative skills. Ashkin Art offers pre-college portfolio preparation courses year-round. Learn more about our courses at ashcanart.com and see accepted art portfolio examples on Instagram at ashcan.art. And please subscribe below for more art portfolio tips.